Hello, I'm Frank, and today we're going to work on a upgrade project for the Little Guy Max. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the uh, door to the sewer uh, tube storage unit. The only problem is it doesn't; it's not large enough. So let's open up the door here. What you have here is that can only take a three a little bit more than three inch tube uh, which doesn't actually take care of the end of the tube uh, so this enclosure here on the outside though is five inches so what we're going to do is we're going to replace that uh, with a five inch vinyl post that I bought at Home Depot. So on the inside here is the um, square part goes all the way through the wall so it's not going to be a very hard mod. Uh, looking down on the tube it's pretty short too. I don't know if you can even put a fishing pole in there. Anyways uh, what you're going to need is not many parts what I have here is a vinyl post right here, fence post. It's five by five, 96 inches long. So it's a little too long for the compartment. I'm gonna end up cutting this uh, fence post down so I have nine inches at the end. And then I'll end up putting this cap at the end. You're not gonna need many tools either. You need a ruler, a razor knife, um, marking pen straight edge I'm going to just use the cap the straight edge and then you're going to need a saw of some sort I'm going to just use my portable uh, electric battery operated saw to cut the post so let's get started now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the razor knife and we're going to cut out the plastic all the way around. Now if you can see here there's a the latch mechanism is right there. This piece here is actually part of the plastic plastic making process. It's so that they can slide it out without having slides on their molds. So we're going to cut that right up here along that and of course that's going to be left here. And then the pipe or the fence post will come up right to where this is. And there's plenty of room here along that edge, about five eighths of an inch, to screw in the fence post to the frame here. Now, by doing it this way, um, rather than buying another piece and then cutting it out and taking this one out, this is already here. I don't want to disrupt that, so that's going to make it pretty easy. Um, and then we'll uh, cut this out, and we'll come back with the with it cut out and then we'll show you the uh, fence post. I'm going to shorten the fence post up by nine inches and we'll show you how it fits in there. So I'll be back. What you're looking at now is uh, the cutout I made with the razor knife. It went pretty quick. It was about 10 minutes. You've got to pay attention to the corners a little bit and then you got to shave a little once you get it cut out. But uh, it came out pretty slick. And over here is the piece I took out. And you can see the latch over here on this side here. Um, and again, you can see how short this piece is that I took out. Now right here is a piece of the fence post that I cut off so it wouldn't fit inside the cabinet, the compartment. And when you take this piece here you can see how nicely that slides in and we probably got maybe a sixteenth of an inch at the very top so um, I see it fitting in real nice now the next step is for me to get some hardware and also I'm going to have to take the bed up in the back and you can see that strap back there. I got some material just like that from uh, actually a tarp that I had. And I saved the extra pieces. And I'm going to use that to strap up the 
five inch uh, fence post. We got, they only had one strap because it was so short. We got to, in the back, we'll be putting another strap back there. So I've got to go to the hardware store, pick up some stainless steel screws so that I can screw in the five inch fence post to the sidewalls here. And then I'll use some silicone to uh, seal it up. So really this project doesn't take very long. Uh, if I had all the hardware and that kind of stuff, I want to get some self-tapping stainless steel screws. I got to get a couple screws to, uh, for the straps. And then for the end cap uh, here, they'll go on the other end. I'm going to cut up a couple screw eyes to screw in on each side if I ever want to take this cap off. I don't think that's going to happen. I think I only need it to keep it in place so when I put the sewer um, tubing in this, uh, we should be in pretty good shape. So let me go get some hardware. This here is the uh, fence post installed with it's on the fire brace, the back side there. We got the little turn eye screws if I want to take that cover off the back. Probably never need, need to use it, but I wanted to put it in. And then the brace was with the cloth tape. You want to call it tape. Two screws on each side of the fire support. And so here's how it looks. All the way to the exit. So let's go around and uh, put the screws in for the uh, entrance area. And then we can uh, put a silicone on there and uh, show how the hoses fit in there. Okay, the installation is complete. Here's how it looks on the inside. As you can see, I put that uh, strap, as I said before, on the back braced. Didn't feel like I needed two of them on there. And then moving around to the door here is, it's all screwed in with the self-tapping screws. I just drilled a pilot hole. It was larger than the screw, so it only screwed into the frame. Um, I put silicone on it. Over here, you got to put some silicone behind because of the latch me mechanism, and you got to make sure you set that fence post back so that the latch over here can hook up. So here we go. And there it is. Well, the installation is complete. Um, I have my uh, septic uh, tubes stuffed in the. Uh, new storage bin. A few things I didn't mention as far as tools. You do need a drill. You need some drill bits and some scissors. Here's the cloth tape that I used. And then here's the screw eyes you use for the end cap. Drill screws and flat washers. And then here's Rose. Hey Rose. Huh? How's Rosie doing? So Anyways, here we go. Um, let's open it up for you. I was able to, I bought um, two sewage tubes, if you want to call it that. Um, I bought the 10 foot Titan and the 15 foot Titan. The uh, connector to the septic dump had a handle on it, so I ended up buying um, from Campco another one with a clear anyways, so I could see the sewage coming out. But here it is with the uh, sewage adapter. And if we pull that out, then down in here, we've got the clear end on the connector to the trailer. And this is the 10 foot that's in here. So it worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm not certain if I need the 15 foot that often. Maybe as an extension. Um, hopefully the RV camps I was with a little dipper when we were going across the United States. Most of the septic system stuff was right there where you needed it and didn't have to go long distance. But in any case, I got the 15 foot to, if I need an extension. Most likely a tunnel work most of the time. 
Okay, we have a little update here. I tried out the 15-footer. Um, I was able to fit it in, actually. I had to take the uh, clear end off the uh, where it hooked up the RV. I didn't need that, actually. I had to clear at the dump site. So, um, here is the 15-footer. So, I'll pull out the uh, dump connector. And then this is the 15-footer. So... A little 10 footer I'll be able to carry around just in case but um, uh, in any case again give us a thumbs up if you like the video and if you like the video subscribe we have some other videos posted